Welcome to lecture 16 of Mind and Reality. We're close to the end now. I don't see many of you minions here, uh, so it's a marvellous achievement that you have made it this far. This is a monstrously difficult course because I'm of course a particularly despicable lecturer. Now we're going to start this lecture by thinking about GRU, or alternatively what's sometimes called Goodman's New Riddle of Induction. Uh, so how does it go? We'll start off with a piece of inductive reasoning that's supposed to be okay. I'm not super sure about this, but I think it might be okay. Um, true story. All apples I have seen on my tree until now have been green. Therefore, I reason, all apples on my tree will be green. Now I have a slightly bad conscience about this because actually I do have an apple tree which produces only green apples, um, but I don't rely on this kind of statistical thing to draw the conclusion. I, I rely on some kind of biology. In, inductive, it's very difficult to find a case where inductive reasoning is really called for, um, but let's pretend that this is okay. What you notice here is that I'm using the term green. Now I want to substitute that for a different term, the term grew. You may think that you know what grew is. My name is Gru. But you don't. Yes, you don't know what grew is. It's not that you at all. Um, it's something me. much more interesting. The things which are grew are exactly those green things first observed before 2021, and those blue things not first observed before 2021. A couple of things to note here. Um, the first thing is that the apple from my apple tree is grew and will always remain grew forever. This apple from my apple tree that I'm showing you now, that's that's grew and that will always remain grew. It will never be anything but grew. The second thing to note is that none of the apples that my tree grows after 2021 will be grew. They will all be not grew things. That's clear, isn't it? Uh, they growing, being grown after 2021, they can't be first observed before 2021, they didn't exist. Uh, and they're not going to be blue, so they're therefore not going to be GRU. So this is GRU, very simple. Although it's something that kind of catches people out, even professional philosophers have been caught out by GRU. So if you need to take a moment here and have a look at uh, the article by Israel even, in an extreme case, to be really sure that you're clear about what GRU is, although probably not necessary for most people. Good. So this argument I suggested is yeah, just about bearable piece of inductive reasoning, pretty terrible, but it's probably okay. Um, now think about argument two. All apples I have seen on my tree until now have been grew. Now that's true. Therefore all apples on my tree will be grew. Now that's clearly false. And furthermore, the premise doesn't seem to provide any support for the conclusion there either. So something has gone wrong. When we substitute grew, uh, when we substitute green for grew, things seem to go horribly wrong for us. Why is that? What's gone wrong here? This is Goodman's puzzle, what's sometimes called the new riddle of induction. Why is the left argument better than the right argument? Whatever you think about the left argument, I think it's clear that the right argument is better. And if you don't like the left argument, you could probably come up with a fairly okay argument <coughs> for the left argument and then do, do an improvement on what I've got here. Um, send your answers to me by email perhaps or in the Teams chat. So there's the puzzle. Why is the left argument better than the right argument? Why is that? Now, an initially tempting thought, the first idea, is that there's something wrong with GRU. So GRU cannot be used in reasoning. Is that an okay idea? Well, here's a piece of reasoning using GRU. Perfectly good deductive argument. Nothing which is GRU all over is also yellow all over. Uh, this thing here that I've got is yellow all over, sorry, it's grew all over, this apple, and therefore it's not yellow all over. Perfectly good piece of deductive reasoning. And you might say, okay, Steve, that's fine, that's fine. Um, we can use grew in deductive arguments, but we can't use them in non-deductive arguments. But here's a perfectly good non-deductive argument. So Ingrid is one of the people who've been reading Goodman and they've learned about grew and so on. And she's developed a real penchant for grew things. She just loves to steal things which are grew, right? That's what she specializes in. Uh, and it's become for her a kind of lifetime obsession. And she's particularly looking forward to 2021 for that reason, among others, I suppose. Um, 
Furthermore, my lunch boxes grew. As it happens, I, I like to bring my own lunch in. I used to eat in the canteens and I found it much better to bring my own lunch in. Rather enjoy that now. Um, but I do unfortunately have a Gru lunchbox. And so I infer that there's a risk that Ingrid will steal my lunchbox. Now this is clearly not a piece of deductive reasoning, but it's a perfectly good piece of reasoning. So <clears throat> there's no scope whatsoever for the idea that there's something wrong with Gru, such that it cannot be used in reasoning. It can be used in both deductive and non-deductive forms of reasoning perfectly well. So it looks like it's the specific way that we're using that term that's getting us into trouble here, not something about the concept itself. Okay, well, where are we here? Where are we? You know what? It's maybe time to turn to your lecture buddy or lecture buddies and take 90 seconds and just see if you can work out what the answer to Goodman's puzzle could be. This is a puzzle, I think, which we can solve. I don't think this is a particularly difficult puzzle to solve, although you may struggle to do it in 90 seconds. Still, it'll be worth it to see what kind of ideas come up. Why is the left argument better than the right argument? With your lecture buddies, 90 seconds, go. You know what, I'm feeling so despicable. I think I'm gonna leave this as an open question to be resolved. <laughs>